Whoa. <laughs> All right, steady as she goes. So parental clutter. What I want to offer to you is think about who the client is. This is how I approach it because I am the decluttering life coach, Beth from Destination Decluttered. You can see I love the maps. And what I want to offer to you is oftentimes when we look at our parents and their house and their clutter, we want to help them. We want to help them live a life that's not so cluttered and stressed out and things like that. But I got to be honest with you. Sometimes that is not going to happen. It's not going to happen because maybe your parents don't want it. Maybe it makes them feel secure to have things around them. And you, in your best interests for them, you're coming from a loving perspective. You are trying to help them with something you think they are struggling with. And maybe they are actually struggling with it. But if they don't want the help, it's going to be very difficult. What I want to offer to you, though, is at that point, your parents are no longer the client. You, my dears, you are the client. And this is what I mean by that. Now, I have helped my own mother, my own mother who has ADHD. She's a brilliant woman. She is so freaking smart. She's so talented in so many things, but she is scattered. And she has piles of papers all over the place. Now, I have helped her because I am her daughter. I have gone in and she's been willing to have the help. And I've done that, um, but then she just clutters herself up again. And what I have come to terms with, and I want to share with you, is you can help them. It may go back to it, but at a certain point, you become the client. I was doing this not so much for her. It was for her, but also I realized I was helping my mother with her clutter because I was the client. My sisters were the client. We are the people that want to make sure that if she unexpectedly passes or when she expectedly passes, that we knew that where her important papers were and that they were put in a safe place that now we all know where they are. We were the client because we started to look around. And I, when I was helping her, I would be able to find things that may be of value to the family, both monetary and sentimental, and ensuring that that stuff was not tossed out kind of wheat along with the chaff, as my family says. You know, that the eight by 10 single only picture of somebody from my father's, you know, great, great people back in Ireland didn't get suddenly mixed up in the coupon section of the Sunday paper from two years ago, right? So if your parents don't want the help and if they get it and then they get cluttered again, just start looking at what can you do for yourself to make this process easier when they do pass away? Do you know where their important papers are? Do you know where the um, sentimental and monetary value things are in the house? Also, you as the client, not to think on, this is a phrase <laughs> that keeps on coming up. I guess I must've watched too many, like, I don't know, like gangster cartoons when I was a kid, but it's not like you're casing the joint like looking around for the good stuff and I'm going to sneak it away and stuff like that or whatever. But look at the stuff they have in their house and know that, like it or not, at a certain point, all of those items are going to have to be removed from that house. So start to clue yourself into it and get your siblings involved when you can to say, I've looked around mom and dad's house and I have my own stuff I'm dealing with and I don't want anything or I would like that lamp or could I please have start to have those conversations before it is a crisis and emotional place when the parents are sick or the house has to be cleaned out because they're dead or you got to move it really quickly okay case the joint for lack of a better term but remember in all of these instances this is you being the client this is you having the peace of mind when they are gone that you know where the important things are and that you in your sussing out what's important to you have identified the things of your parents that they currently own that may be important to you. 
And I'm gonna stop this video soon because my arm is actually hurting from holding my phone up here. But the last thing I wanna mention to you too is, it is totally, I'm gonna change my hand now for dramatic effect. Ah, so much better. It is totally okay that if the stuff that is in your parents' house right now is that you have no interest in it. You know, it was stuff that they were interested in. You don't have to, you do not feel obliged to like or keep any of their stuff. When they pass away, they will always live on in your heart, regardless of the amount of their items that you have in your home. Okay? So as I said, remember that oftentimes your parents aren't the client you are and take care of yourself. Make decisions that help you get through the process when you're dealing with parental clutter. Start sooner rather than later. Um, and I'm here for you if you need some help, okay? You got this. You can do it. Bye.